Katie Glockner. Sam Barron. Welcome to the show. I'm glad to be here. Um, <laughs> I had your sister on a few episodes ago. No way. I know, I know, right? <laughs> I know. Um, and we did drawing, and I totally, I was super prepared for this show. Oh, yeah. So and, and so we should do drawing again. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we, we have two halves, right? We, we have like two parts and then a break in the middle, right? Okay. So we're going to do two drawings. Okay. We're going to basically spend 30 minutes on each drawing. So it's got to be, it's got to be complex, it's gotta right? It's got to be really good looking. It's got to be brilliant. Okay. okay. We, we have all the utensils here. We got a pen, a pencil. Um, one of these is leaking. This thing <laughs> is leaking stuff. So don't use that one. It's definitely use that one. <laughs> See? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. That's not the best. Um... So, yeah, let's let's run it up. Let's, let's get ready. What should we draw? Well, I'm gonna keep mine secret until oh, we get done. Oh, if it's a secret, then mine's gonna be a secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So, tell tell me how you first came in contact with this podcast. With this podcast? Yes. Well, actually, really, I don't know if I told you this. Is a really my parents actually found your podcast. What? <laughs> Which is, I know. I don't know how my dad did. He was, he like looked up Annie Glockner or something, which is just his name. And that uh -huh. podcast showed up and he was like, what the heck? Who is Annie talking to? And I was like, oh, that's Sam. And so, yeah, that's how I found out about wow. your podcast. Interesting. Yeah. I feel so, I feel so so special yeah you so, got an outside viewer i know did he subscribe did he drop a like so. i don't think so. five stars on spotify he might have gave you a like i don't know i don't know if he liked it i just know he watched it so. word word um we went to together we went to a claire rosencrantz concert did. that was really fun was it no <laughs> <laughs> um wh where how long what's how um was that your first concert yes that was my first concert it was it was really nice. I do remember though. I had to go to school in the morning. I don't know if I've ever been more tired in my <laughs> life. I was exhausted. It was so bad, but it was definitely worth it to go to that concert. Yes. Are are you pleasantly surprised by it? Like, would you go to another Claire Rosencrantz concert? I think so. She wouldn't happen to be having another concert. Unfortunately, no, no because she's still on the same I tour. Got but it. um, yeah. I I I really enjoyed it. I think it was um I I was patiently waiting. It was too long. We could have gotten there like an hour and a half later yeah. cuz the dwellers were nice. Did you listen to any music afterwards? No. I considered it, but I, then I, I was like I started eh. too and then it wasn't as it wasn't as good as like when they performed it. <laughs> like it was worse. Usually it's the other way around. Yeah, I know. That's why I was so confused. I was like, "Why is this not as good as when it was in concert?" Yeah. Um you you're in the youth group i am tell Correct. me about how you got started with that uh well my sister was in it and we both uh went to that church and i had to get confirmed so i kind of just did youth group too mm -hmm. and that's where i met you <gasps> <gasps> and the other barons mm -hmm. which are they're pretty cool i hey. don't know if you know the other barons or not but i mean uh, i've had one of them on there on here yeah oh yeah I did actually watch that episode. Oh, really? I've seen some of your episodes, not all of them, if I'm being honest. I made you listen to <laughs> to the one with Annie I in the car. I finished it anyways. I thought it was. I was mentioned that in that episode mm -hmm. twice. So this is a like a crossover episode. Yeah, it's a crossover episode. Yeah, it's, you know, I'm really cool like that, and I Pre deserve pretty pretty zany. Yeah, pretty zany. What's the deal with you and frogs? Me and frogs, I really like frogs. <laughs> but why? I mean, is there a reason not to like frogs? <laughs> <laughs> Being honest here. I mean, they're they're slimy and they pee on you when you hold them. Well, most of the time they poop, not pee. Oh, oh, my I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Yeah. Jeez, you need to know your frog uh -huh. stuff. Get it together, Sam. But... <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're not. But... <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I'm not. Um, no, I don't know why I like frogs. I think that's all I have to say I, about that. I don't get it. <laughs> And that, like, there's, I have a friend named, named Anna who lives in our neighborhood, mm -hmm. and she equally likes frogs. I mean, not equally. Your your obsession is sort of <laughs> drastic, but um, it, I, I just don't get it. Like, what's the, what's the appeal? Because, like, they're slimy and stuff. But they're so adorable. It's like cat, but you're not a cat person, are you? 
I mean, I I want to have a cat when I when I have a house, because like because yes. they're they're different creatures. Like with dogs, you they're playful and they love you and they're all that. But you don't buy a cat to be playful and no. love you. You buy a cat to like basically have another roommate. Yeah. That, that <laughs> like doesn't use any dishes. But if you get an outdoor cat, you don't even have to do anything for them. They just go outside when they need to, you know, do their business. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then otherwise. You just got a buddy that hates you half the time <laughs> and eats all your food. Yeah. So, um, I mean, it kind of works So, out. it's either get a girlfriend or get a cat. Pretty much the same yeah, thing. Yeah, basically, basically, basically. Okay, not going to lie. I was starting to draw you. A little spoiler alert, but it doesn't look anything like you. Unless you look... Unless you have orange, not orange. What is color? Is this purple hair? <laughs> <laughs> um, you can kind of see it. Can't you kiss? Oh, supposed no, to be no, a surprise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, no, you're not. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying that. <laughs> I used to have blue hair. Do you remember, I remember that? I saw a photo of it. I remember when you were bald. I was mm-hmm. I was here for your both bald faces actually. You yeah. Had two bald faces. I had two fall. Do you remember when I used to have long hair? I don't. That's not as the de- same as being. When bald. you used to have long hair, yeah. Or did you never meet me in the? I used to I don't have really, really long hair. I don't really pay attention to to people to girls' hair, honestly. Fair enough. Like unless it's like a pixie cut or like yeah. completely bald. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a bald. I'm just kidding. I didn't. Have a bald face. <laughs> I did used to have really long hair that went all the way down to like my waist. Eh, maybe that, I don't know. I my hair used to really long, but now I chop it off. My girlfriend Mina really, really wants. Like she, she tells me sometimes she's like, I really want to shave my head, it's and because she has really long hair, doesn't she? I mean, it's like sort of shoulder length. It's not too long, but she's like, I just. I just I just want to and then she'll she'll be I'll be like okay do it and he's like she's like Sam you're not supposed to be okay with this and I'm like I'm sorry she should I she think, really should I mean she looks gorgeous either way so I think she should go for it I agree shave the hair bald the head whatever you gotta do would you ever shave your head I don't think I would uh probably maybe if we have another lockdown, then mm. I would shave my head. But since I have to see people every single day, probably not. That makes sense. But also maybe. I don't know. Well, what's funny was that when I shaved my head, uh, we went into lockdown. So I was like, oh, I will not see anyone. Might as well mm-hmm. shave my head. And then we went on a week-long beach retreat <laughs> with the youth group. Oh, yeah. So, so I was just a thing. bald guy on a beach retreat. Except I didn't go because I was in the hospital at that time. What What was it like having appendicitis? It sucked. It was so <laughs> bad. Tell Tell me the whole story. Okay. So, okay. Fun fact. I actually thought that I got, um, what did I think I got? I, what is the thing when you eat something raw? And you, oh, salmonella. S- I thought salmonella. I had, sa- salmonella, salmonella. But you only get that from salmon. That's why it's called salmonella. No, no, we don't. <laughs> but um, no, I had cooked some food the night before for my family, and I like ate some raw meat at one point because I thought it was done. It wasn't. I was like, oh no, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not not one of my best moments. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But then. The next morning, I was, like, puking like crazy, and it was really bad. I've never had worse stomach pain in my life, so I thought I just had salmonella or something. But my mom was like, no, something's wrong, Katie. Like, this is more than just, like, a stomach pain. I'm like, nah, I'm fine. <laughs> and she, and my t- the rest of my pain was like, yeah, she's fine. She's going to be okay. Uh-huh. And But my mom was like, no, I'm taking her to urgent care. So I go to urgent care or whatever, and we have to go through all these stupid tests. I had to drink this nasty concoction that tasted like pure salt, and it was, there was, like, it was, like, a a bite of it because uh-huh. i had to do like the scan to see if like if my appendix was alive or oh, not. oh yeah 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 but <laughs> but after after i did all that you can just you can no. just slide it up like oh, it doesn't whoa. have to stand up it can like lay on this the side no 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 like like the other way like let it just lay on this i kind of just want it thing. directly in front of my eyes <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be great for the thumbnail thanks oh. katie <laughs> Exactly. Oh no. Okay. Okay, I gotta fix that. Wait. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. I think it's. Oh wait, wait. I got it. Okay. Hey, I got it, guys. Okay. What was I saying? Yeah, but then. Oh, so don't, the, don't look at this. Oh, I didn't see any. I actually really didn't see. It. <laughs> and then uh, the doctor comes in. And it's like, hey, you got appendicitis. And I was like, great. So I have to be transferred to a hospital. But 
three other kids also had appendicitis and are younger than me so <laughs> i got put on the back of the list <laughs> so i had to wait about two days till i got my surgery and then and when i say i was in the waiting room to go get surgery and my appendix exploded like because they say you get like a really sharp pain right before and they when they said they like when they went to clean it up it was already exploded but like barely because it hadn't spread anywhere Uh huh. so like right before i went into surgery it exploded <laughs> that's um, rough yeah it's really rough but yeah i got surgery and then they pumped me with so much air that i was so bloated that i could like barely walk so i had to stay in the hospital for about another week that's not very cash money. No, that's not very. That hurt. <laughs> honestly, that hurt more than the appendicitis. I'm not gonna lie. Just being filled with gas. That, like my stomach was so, so weird. Uh-huh. It was so weird. I'm gonna. I swear, <laughs> I, feel like I was pregnant. <laughs> it was bad. Uh huh. Um, but yeah, that was what like appendicitis was, and I had a recovery about like a month. Mm-hmm. So even if I, I technically was out of the. I got out of the hospital the day you guys left for the beach retreat, actually oh yeah you should you should have just been like hey well i was they didn't i talked to my doctors and they wouldn't let me oh because i had the glue for my surgery and that would have come off in the water and i also could still at that point i couldn't walk very much i uh-huh. got like tired very easily because i was still like all woozy and i didn't feel good well i got a really really <laughs> bad sunburn the first Are day you comparing my pentastitis to sunburn <laughs> no i'm just saying that if you would have come on the beach retreat, we would have had the we same have, experience. We would have been sick together. Yeah. Would have, no, we could have done that. But. Yeah. And I didn't know you at all at the time. Yeah, you did. That is weird. It I is weird. I didn't meet you till after the beach retreat. Yeah. Yeah, you were just like one of Annie's friends. I know. That is weird. Annie and I were talking about her the other day. We don't have any say, the same friends. I was like, what about the Barons and the Heights? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, we're not friends with either of those groups? <laughs> Okay, since this looks nothing like you, I might just have to, like, go crazy. Um, I have not been able to really focus on the drawing part. Mm-hmm. Um, so I am just sort of doodling. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, this is going to be... Who should this be, if not you? It Jesus kinda look, Christ. That would be insul- insulting to Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it that looks bad? like Alpha Alpha. So, alfalfa you know like oh, what is those movies called i'm so forgetful today um, uh alfalfa the the spiky hair from the movie uh, the movie no there's needles a, from back to the future part two yep that's exactly who i was thinking those of. boards don't work on water <laughs> unless you've got power i'm gonna be honest i haven't seen all the back to the future movies i've only seen the first one and it was a very long time ago the first one is the best okay but it's really it does a really good job at making like all three movies like one compelling. I do story. know that I did see the second one, but I know I remember nothing about it. Mm. Is that the be- where they go to the future? <laughs> yeah, the first one is where they go back in time. The second one was when they go to the future, and the third one is when they go to the Wild West. Okay. Sorry for all the spoilers. Some yeah, people sorry. who haven't watched a movie that's like forty years yeah, old. Yeah, you had forty years. <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> shame uh what else what is your favorite oh i know your favorite movie it's about time isn't yeah it? <laughs> look at me i know the same trivia <laughs> you... <laughs> what's your favorite movie oh, you don't actually i don't really know my own favorite movie <gasps> it's like a top luca is up there luca's one of my favorite movies of all time really because it came out at a time where i was like struggling a lot so uh-huh. i just watch it whenever i was sad <laughs> which was a lot during that time that so it sense. became my favorite movie you know that's pretty much how it was with about time Actually, oh, gotcha. um, I went to this lake house with my family. Um, it was like our cousins or something. Mm-hmm. And my mom, my parents were like, Sam, you're going to watch this movie. And I'm really like, they tell me, Sam, you're going to watch this movie. And I'm like, uh, what is it about? Blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm usually very like annoying about it. And so they were like, shut up. You're going to watch this and you're going to love it. <laughs> okay. Because I, I love rom-coms. And so. You definitely do love rom-coms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and so they were like just watch it so i started it and um i think about like halfway through or something i was like this is the best movie i've ever seen i still Um, haven't seen it if i'm being honest what i know how have we not watched that at some point i don't know i think we talked about watching at some point but we never did we need to go to camden's house yes and watch watch it in the basement yeah yeah yeah. and maybe nate maybe nate maybe nate (laughs) (laughs) 
Um, because Nate is well, actually, I don't, I haven't seen Nate in a very long time, so I, I, we do not hang out as much as we should, like the whole group, the whole group, the yeah. whole darn thing. Well, there was a thing tonight that I probably won't <laughs> be able to that's go to. That's true. Um, um, I don't think the heights were going though. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, <laughs> just because I like seeing Camden, <laughs> she's my homie, she's my home slice. How do when did y'all get so close? Beach retreat, second, second. Beach oh, retreat. that makes sense. We've always been. We actually found out the beach retreat that we had the same preschool class together. What? Isn't that crazy? I mean, we've always known that we've known each other like basically our whole lives, but we had the same preschool class together and everything. Interesting. Yeah, and then we we've been on and off friends just because we went to different schools, but the same church, so we never mm-hmm. really see each other. But then the beach retreat, we like really connected because we're. As you know, basically the same person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of scary sometimes. But... Yeah, every time I'm hanging out with y'all, I feel like I'm third wheeling. Should be. <laughs> <laughs> As it should be. But yeah, Camden's my ride or die, baby. Um, what was I going to say? Your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Do you miss John Henry and Andrew? I Andrew, not as because I haven't. Well, it's like I haven't seen Andrew in a long time. Yeah, so I haven't really had the chance to miss him. It's so weird. But John Henry's always like I, he's around here. Yeah, <laughs> so I could totally see him, and uh-huh. Annie sees him all the time. So I'm like, dude, and everybody else that goes to Bosco. Bosco, yeah. yeah. Do you 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 didn't go to Bosco? Nope, I went. Are to... you a, you're a junior, right? Yeah. Weird. I know. I want to graduate so bad. Katie is older than me. Yes, but I'm a junior, and he's and already graduated. And I'm done with school, <laughs> and she's a junior. I got called back in second grade. Why? What was uh, the reasoning? Funny story, What was the stupid actually, reasoning? It was a very stupid reason, because I thought for years it was my teacher suggested it. It was my mom who suggested it, and she didn't tell me. So How could she betray you like I that? I know. I felt so betrayed. I remember crying when I found <laughs> out. And she, was, she, didn't have the, she was like, yeah, I was your teacher mother anyway she might have not said it was my teacher but that's what i believed mm. anyways it was when i transferred to regina chaley which was is i don't know if they still are around if i'm being honest um which is a private school catholic private school mm-hmm. and um like first week there i got mostly d's in math in english or something but it was like the first week Mm -hmm. but in but my teacher still calls my mom is being like hey katie's not doing that well what do you want to do from here i was like i think we should hold her back entire year (laughs) and and like i this is the point where i just made new friends and everything yeah fun fact i was fun friends with daniel vavanko at that time isn't that crazy yeah he was one of my first friends at that school oh how the turntables how had the turntables and then i switched classes and yeah Ever since then, I've been one grade behind, but older than most everybody in my class, <laughs> which is, it's kind of cool to say sometimes, because... But yeah. what's funny is you're short, so people don't realize it. Yeah. I went to get a haircut like a month ago, and the guy cutting my hair thought I was 14. <laughs> I wore a suit to work a couple months ago, and this couple thought I was 22. Come on, man. <laughs> That's not fair. Yeah. Yeah. It's rough out here. You should just short. start wearing suits. <laughs> I think that'll solve all my problems. Yeah, yeah it really does. I I have bought f- five suits. I have no. I bought four. I have five suits. Okay. Um, I've seen you wear a couple. You have like they're very colorful ones. That's why yeah. I always notice when you wear one. Yeah. It's not just like a regular suit. It's like white or something. I mean, I bought a black one the other day, um, because it was like crazy it was like 70 percent off so it was it was really nice um but i have a tan one a navy one a light gray and a dark gray and now a black so i mean all the colors the the black is like sort of on its own you know it doesn't really go with the other ones just like pattern wise um but the the other ones i i specifically because there's this um there's this quote by uh steve harvey I don't know. I've heard. I've, like, yeah. if you get like the different color ones, and yeah, you can mix yeah, match yeah. them. I've seen that. <laughs> Why have I seen that? Because it's, it's on TikTok. It goes crazy. I, don't, I haven't had TikTok in months, though. Actually, I mean, it's old. I've known it for a while. Yeah. So I like my, one of my New Year's resolutions was to buy five suits. Like, what 
or <laughs> buy a I'm bunch of suits um there's i'm changing what i'm doing because i whatever i was doing was ugly <laughs> so we're okay. gonna change and we're not gonna draw a person because i'm bad at drawing people yeah oh, what were you saying? Sorry, um I you off. so i i bought a new suit every month and that was really handy because i worked at this place called express that made really crappy suits um but <laughs> <laughs> i mean they're good looking they just don't feel good at all oh gotcha. um and and so i have four and that means i can make 16 combination no what no yes i have four and that means i can make 16 combinations Dang. of suits um you got that riz now yeah i really do that's the only reason why <laughs> um yeah uh but I got this black one because I'm working at Banana Republic now. Oh, you got a new job. Yeah. So you're not just freeloading <laughs> while you're waiting to go to college. No. Um. I, I, I'm working at Banana. And banana? Banana, banana. 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 Put, I just think Banana, banana, and I really want to say it a lot. Banana, banana. Banana, banana. Banana, banana. Banana, banana. I banana, could, banana. I could, I could, I could put that in the, I could put that in the title i could say annie uh, katie glockner banana banana, banana, banana 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 and drawing yes i would appreciate that okay great. good mm -hmm. I'll, I'll make sure of that yes. um let me see how much longer we have on the to video. our next break or the break we oh. have exactly eight minutes whoa um so what do you want to talk about in these eight minutes these eight minutes so why don't why didn't you want to go to bosco to be honest i don't think i'm smart enough to go <laughs> um public school is really easy and i like it, it that way it is really easy and also i probably don't have the money to go and i don't think everybody who's pushing me to do it realizes that. yeah yeah philip's like just go it's not that much money i'm like for you it isn't <laughs> yeah i have seven siblings uh-huh so a lot different for me i i asked annie if she felt neglected because of the amount of siblings she had did you feel neglected a little bit probably i know and i remember seeing that and he was like no not at all and i was like <laughs> <laughs> i did uh -huh. um just because i'm like the middlest of the middle children mm. i also was a bratty kid growing up <laughs> so i don't think many of my siblings liked me i think they like me now hopefully mm. so um but yeah now that i've gotten older a lot of my siblings moved out, so I get more attention. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm just an attention. You're you're a big fan of I'm the just attention. A big fan of the attention. I was gonna say a different yeah, thing. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I suspected I didn't, that. I didn't know the pounds of uh, of your language on here. Um, I usually try to keep it clean. I this is the ninth episode, so um, I I haven't really explored that much. Yeah. However, I'm also a parent sound. <laughs> Yeah, that that also helps. <laughs> yeah. Um, but when I branch out, I've only interviewed one person that wasn't Catholic on this show. Who was it? My granddad. Your granddad's not Catholic? No, he's Protestant. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, cuz neither of my grandparents cuz my uh my both my parents were Protestant. If you listen to the episode where I interviewed either of my parents, um then you would know this, but my Oopsie. dad's family was <laughs> Baptist and my mom's family was Methodist. Really? Yeah, and um, and so they're they're still that way, and then that's Your why. Your parents are still Protestants. <laughs> no, <laughs> um, but they only converted after the wedding because they didn't want their entire family to feel really uncomfortable at a Catholic oh, wedding. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, my mom was Baptist and mm. she converted after that. My parents married. I asked my I actually asked my dad. I was like, "Did you know mom was converted?" He was like, "Yeah, she's smart enough to." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Dang, dad." <laughs> But um, yeah, and they had a they had a Protestant wedding because they didn't think that my in laws would be comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. You know, she um, grew up Baptist. I, I was raised Catholic. I talk to my mom about Protestantism a lot mm -hmm. because it's sort of frustrating how heretical it is. But <laughs> um, <laughs> they yeah. if you get back to this page. Oh, are you you changing? You gotta do it on one page. Which you can, one should I stick to? They're both can... really ugly. <laughs> I don't have a pencil. Um, I don't know. Here's a pen. You can have a but pen. But the eyes. Okay, I'll stick to this one because the eyes on this one are really cool. Okay, 
Uh, we got to make sure because I do not. Last episode, I had to cut the the audio early because the footage cut out. <gasps> no, so I don't want to do that again. That's really frustrating. Okay, four minutes. Four minutes. Four minutes. Four minutes. In case you were wondering, dear listener, how I am so. I have such nice equipment for um, for a podcast that has been running for eight episodes and totals in about 300 plays. Um, <laughs> actually, it's about 150, but the rest were from my old podcast, whatever. Um, <laughs> my parents uh, have a podcast they've been doing since I was 11 months old, and so mm -hmm. um, this is their setup, Yep. which is really handy for me. That is very convenient for you. And my brother is super into video stuff, so <laughs> I can run into his room and ask, hey, do you have an SD card I can borrow? Is Ben still living here? Or did he get a house yet? Yeah. He's in he's in his room right now. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I could have said hi to Ben this whole time. You can do it after the show. Okay. I'll say hello to Ben. Or during the break. You can do or that too. The break. I'll just run into Ben's room, say hi, Ben, and then run away. And I could even <laughs> drive off for comedic effect. Uh-huh. It would be amazing. Um... I'm going to give you a question and you're going to answer it and so I can focus on my drawing. So I'm okay. I'm going to listen, but I'm I'm not going to listen as well as I would. Okay. okay. What do you think is the most enticing denomination of Protestant? Oh. That's hard. I don't think Mormons count as they Christians do. or Protestants. They're they're cra their teachings are crazy, but they are Christian-ish. Yeah. The most radical, you said? Or what did you say? Most enticing. So, like, what you would... If you were to become a Protestant, what denomination would you oh, be? Oh, okay. That's a different question, then. That's interesting. Darn it. Now I have to choose. <laughs> um, I'd probably say Baptist. Why? Protestants scare me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because I've met a lot that are mean to me. Um, especially... Oh, but also, I've met a lot of Baptists that are really mean to me. There was this kid at my school who was Baptist in my class who would like make fun of me every day for being Catholic. And the whole group of them would. It was really annoying. I Did you a... roast them with theological virtue? I tried to, but eventually my teacher was like, quit arguing theological stuff <laughs> in the middle of class, Katie. We're trying to learn. You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough, teacher. But I guess I'll have to go with the Mormons. <laughs> <laughs> They're not too crazy. I have a couple of Mormon friends. And... Oh, but then I couldn't make fun of the the Mormon musical anymore. <laughs> yeah. Darn it. Yeah. It's a lose-lose situation. I think I'll stick with the Catholicism for now. That makes sense. If, okay, but if I could choose a different branch of Catholicism. A different right. Go ahead. Like a different right. I yeah. would probably be, um, oh my gosh, Byzantine. I think the Byzantines are really cool. Byzantines are groovy, yeah. They're pretty groovy. Mm -hmm. My bro well, brother-in-law is a Byzantine Catholic. So. Nice. Most of the, there's a Byzantine uh, thing in in Lander. Yeah. Um. So I'm excited to to go there. I went there at peak. It's uh, there's too much singing. I don't like how much singing really? there is. Really? When I went, oh, they just chant everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. One minute left. I'm one sorry, I'm being left. such we a butt okay. about it, but what what question can I answer in one minute? What's your favorite uh, color? What's your favorite color? Green. Uh. How you answer. I can't decide. It's so difficult because on the one hand, I really like aqua blue or like a a, a, a greenish blue, because mm -hmm. um, it's very uh, mystical or magical yeah. in nature, like Narnia esque thing, Ooh. like fan fantastical. I don't know. Um, but I also really like. Um, I used to say lime green for some reason. I don't know. Lime green is not that good looking, but. <laughs> The color of my room. I don't know what the color of your room is. I Have you not seen, seen my room since I redid it? No. Well, it's it's really dirty right now, but I'll show you after <laughs> during the break. Um, okay, is that our minute? Yes, 11 seconds. 11 we seconds. will be right back after these messages. Whoa. And we are back from Whoa. break. That was such a long break. <laughs> I know. It was, it was way too long, honestly. Don't look at that. Um, I didn't see anything. Go ahead, Katie. Oh, sorry. This is the part where I talk because yes. it is a podcast. So uh -huh. Okay, so when we were on the break, Sam was showing me his room and he has a couple Beatles albums. And I asked him if he loved the Beatles and he said <laughs> kind of, 
or something like that. Ish. So this is a part where I quiz Sam on his Beatles trivia. Correct. Okay, Sam, who in who wrote Hey Jude? Um, John, Paul, George, and Ringo. One of them. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say Ringo. Ringo wrote none of their songs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. This is JP. JP. Who's JP? John Paul. Wait, no. They're not know. one person. <laughs> <laughs> I thought no, I thought there were three people. John Paul, George, and Ringo. No, this and is then so after bad. they got after they got done, then he became the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's why John had to die. Yeah. Because he had to go become Pope. Um John then. No, it was Paul. Paul. Oh, There's that was gonna be my third it. guess. Have you heard the story but I assume you haven't heard the story behind it because you don't know who wrote I have it. I have not. The story behind it is that um John had a son named Julian, but he got divorced and he kinda dis he didn't disown his son, but he wasn't with his son anymore. Paul felt bad for him, so he wrote the song Hey Julian, but he thought Hey Jude sounded better. Mm. So that's how they got say Hey Jude. And that's one of their popular songs now. And Julian is not even recognized. It was never made for Julian. It was made for somebody <laughs> random named Jude. Poor Julian. Poor Julian. And then uh, Beautiful Boy by John Lennon was for his other son, Sean, who he had later. So Zany. Very zany. <laughs> very zesty. <laughs> I just oh, that gives me to my next question. What is your favorite word? This is this determines a lot of people's personality. Um that is a great question. Um it it changes a lot with whatever phrase I use, mm -hmm. but ever since I learned how to say it, I'm pretty sure it's new mono ultra microscopic silica volcano Oh my gosh, I remember when you learned that. And I was so I you was were so proud. Uh, yeah. I remember that cuz we were at Taco Bell and then you like said what your favorite word was and I was like, "What?" yeah <laughs> i was like what man Whoa, i was pretty crazy, crazy about it so crazy and there's also a scene from um i don't know if i've talked about this on here yet but there's a scene from gravity falls where oh. um grunkle stan is um is sitting in front of the tv and he can't find the remote so it's just playing and then um the tv goes don't miss the friday night showing of the, D the duchess approves starring sterling stable burgess as the duchess and Grimpton saint rumpton frabel as a raspable cogsway and charter blog at hampton Foppenshire. <laughs> <laughs> and i really love saying that that is very fun i watched it like five times just so i could know how to say it uh, what is the thing that i really like quoting i do know what my favorite word is i'll have to probably figure oh out yes what's your favorite word Oh, my favorite word is, it's a tie between incandescently, because I like to say it in a British accent, <laughs> and then um, sporadically, sporadically, because it's so much fun to say. Uh -huh. Sporadically. Sporadically, sporadically. How but about ekphrasis? Ekphrasis? Ekphrasis. Ekphrasis. Or aruvulet? What do those words even mean? I have no idea. I think aruvulet <laughs> is a flower, maybe? Oh, okay. Camden would know. Camden she, would know. She, she knows flower trivia. <laughs> she does. <laughs> She likes to she likes to know the meaning of flowers and like send flowers and like photos of flowers to people. Maybe she should be a botanist. She would be a really good botanist. You know, when did you learn what a bot what botany was? To be honest, I thought it was a disease for the longest time. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but I think it was when Canada told me not too long ago. <laughs> Cause I, there's this book yes. that was she's reading about a botanist. I want to uh -huh. say. I learned about it when I went to see The Martian. The the movie The Martian starring Matt Damon. Oh yeah. Um, Actually, and <laughs> he's a botanist and that's how he survives on Mars is he oh, makes potatoes. That movie. Yeah. I thought it, I thought that movie was called Interstellar, but that's a different space. No, movie. that's a completely that, different that's space. That's with Matthew McConaughey movie. where he cries in the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You <laughs> only know it cuz of the meme. Yeah, and then I watched it and I was so confused the entire time why because it's so confusing there's like this weird library of memories and something about his daughter and he's like communicating with her through like the dust in the house whoa spoilers it's oh, only been sorry. around for 20 years or something like that I not 20 it's like it's been like, like 15 maybe 10 yeah so interstellar like, yeah for, no way interstellar i it, barely know her <laughs> 
We shouldn't have left it that. I'm going to be honest. My drawings have gone off the rails. I'm um, just doodling random stuff. That's good because I'm also doodling random stuff. Alf Alpha got like Egyptian styled eyeliner <laughs> somewhere <laughs> in here. It got real wanky. Real swanky, zany. Zesty. Zesty. All the fun words. Yeah. What's your favorite um, uh, fast food place? Ooh. I mean, Taco Bell sort of because of all the memories. Because also mm-hmm. I don't really like fast food honest <gasps> i know pagan i know i'm a pagan uh chick-fil-a is really good though chick-fil-a is really scrumptious but i can't eat their their like fried sandwiches because they make me tummy hurt because mm. fun fact i am lactose intolerant is there lactose in chicken no but i just also have a very sensitive stomach mm. but you know it's not that hard just tolerate it <laughs> <laughs> Wow, Sam! Thanks for the input. That'll I'm surprised it. you haven't figured that out by I now. Know. I know. If only somebody told me that sooner, <laughs> maybe I would have been able to di- digest ice cream all these uh-huh. years. Yeah. Um, it, I, I think Chick Fil A is too nice to be considered a fast food restaurant. Yeah, they're like. Well, I mean, they're all they're known for being a Christian restaurant, but. They should be known for more than that. Yeah, they're like their hospitality, you know. Yeah. Did you know? <laughs> oh wait, you you know Blaze, right? I I know of him. Every time, uh, like he, ha- um, whenever somebody says thank you to him, he says my pleasure now because he's worked at Chick Fil A <laughs> for so long. <laughs> Poor dude. Keenan Bowles did the same thing. Who's Keenan Bowles? Um, back in ye olden times the olden days keenan bowles was a, a a character in the in the bosco um group my my class at bosco oh. um him and malachi bowles or siblings brothers malachi bowles not balls bowls <laughs> <laughs> um I, I genuinely thought you said balls i'm not gonna lie yeah but he um he every time somebody like He's like, thanks, Keenan. He's like, my, m- my pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. My pleasure. What kind of um, what kind of accents can you do? Oh my gosh, this is my time to shine. <laughs> okay, I can do this country accent that I like to break into a lot, especially when I'm driving and I get straight stale. I go into my country accent. Sounds like beans from Rango. They, they, it's my inspiration for it, mm. honestly. And I mm-hmm. got my British accent. It's a bloody good one, too. It's a bloody good one. I love to do this one all the time. And, okay, this one takes me a little bit to get into. Okay, take your time. Okay. (laughs) It's my Australian, uh, like, documentary voice. Crikey. In the wild, there is a lizard. (laughs) (laughs) I I, I need a script or something. Yeah, I like to do this one. The wild Katie in her natural habitat. (laughs) Yeah. Currently (laughs) recording a podcast. Recording the podcast with... Sam Barron. But that's yeah. that wasn't really an Australian accent. No, that was just the really I like started it, movie trailer it. accent. Yeah. Yeah. In the wild. No, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> that's so unfortunate. See, I like it comes and goes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Especially every time in Bible study, I would be able to do it, but not any other time. Like they'd be reading <laughs> the Bible and I go into the voice, <laughs> and now I can't do it anymore. Then Jesus said to his <laughs> disciples, <laughs> "He who lives through me shall have eternal life." <laughs> Exactly. That's it's just something about the Bible, man. I can do. Um, there's a character. So there's this YouTuber named mm-hmm. Fitz, and he doesn't really make videos anymore. But he used to make gaming videos that were very inappropriate. I should not have been watching it. But um, <laughs> one of his friends would do this character named Ansley, uh-huh. and he's very annoying to like my parents. But little kids love him. <laughs> Because he sounds like this. Aww. My name is Ainsley. Yeah, that's really annoying. And ever <laughs> since I was a kid, everyone bullies me for being this stupid man. Um, anyway, uh, I can also do Sonic the Hedgehog from from the game. And, wow. Or I guess it's sort of an anime, because anime like dubs are always very intense. Yeah. <gasps> he, you overestimated my power level. Um... I can also do a good Scottish accent from the ruins of the Nutter Castle near Stonehaven. Wow. Um, Those actually are pretty cool. And then Stephen Hawking, of course. My name is Stephen Hawking. Though my body will die, my mind will live on to explore the universe. I don't understand how you do that so well. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> One day. <laughs> like it sounds so robotic. How yeah. do you do that? Try it. 
You just breathe in. Like, talk while you're breathing in. I am Sam. I am Sam. Like, I I can't do it. I am... I, like, I, I, can't. I am Sam. Breathing out. I am Sam. Breathing in. I... <sighs> So just breathe in. I am Sam. No, it doesn't and work. And then just go, ah, uh, or, uh, <laughs> like that. It's going to sound so weird. <laughs> just try it. Try it. Figure it out. I, uh, no, I, I am Sam. You're still t- <laughs> Do you See, not even know how to do it? so dumb. No, I can't do it. Because most, do most people, they can like, they can do it. It just doesn't sound as robotic. They'll just be like, <laughs> wait, hold on. <laughs> I forgot how to do it now. <laughs> I am Sam. Oh wait, now I figured it out. No, I'm figuring this is how they sound most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a lot. Gosh. Um, but no, you you have a gravelly voice like mine, and you can sound like a robot. Yeah, I don't have that voice. I <sighs> built I different. can do like a really like. Oh, it's kind of hard to do. <laughs> and this, do I what? say that about all my voice. Like a really deep voice like that. <laughs> You just sound like Gollum. I, yeah, it's Gollum. I can do my Gollum voice. It it's kind of the kids like it, but I. You can't I, handle I it. I can't handle it. It hurts the voice mm, a lot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And there's a voice that I do for my sister's puppet. <laughs> <laughs> my little sister. No, um, not Annie. Not Annie. <laughs> Annie has a puppet that I do voice for. But no. Uh, her name is Goldie, and she sounds like this. <laughs> and I don't know how I got this voice, but I always use it. <laughs> and it's really weird. It kind of this is Goldie's voice. It kind of sounds like the the lady from Monsters Inc. Oh my gosh! I'm it does. watching you, Wazowski. I'm watching you, Wazowski. Always watching. <laughs> I know, my, my sister always said it sounded like a boy. And it, she's like, my joke's <laughs> supposed to be a girl. And I'm like, I can't change the voice now. She's, she's been in character for years. It's too late. Um, but yeah, those are all my voices. That's incredible. Yes. Oh, hello, doggy. Have you ever had a dog? I have not. Oh, I, I did. For a very short time. He had to be put down because he ate the neighbor dog. Not not completely <laughs> ate. <laughs> 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 That is not what I was expecting in the slightest. We didn't completely eat her, but he did buy her and she was pregnant. So Oh my gosh. What what kind what breed was it? He's a mutt. He's just an orange dog. Fun fact, mm. I want to name him eyelashes. <laughs> of, of course. course of the course. rest of my family was against that, so we named him Jack. <laughs> not as good as eyelashes. Not as good as eyelashes. <laughs> I also want to name him Cookie Monster. That was my two names. But he wasn't blue. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't matter to me. His name wouldn't be Cookie Monster. I kind of want to die, die a dog blue. Yeah, and then just name him Cookie Monster. I have so many good cat names picked up because I'm never gonna get. It. Maybe I'll get a dog one day, but I'm probably gonna. Get Do you a have dog. a cat? I have two cats, Daisy and Smokey. One of them's really energetic, and one hates the world. <laughs> <laughs> and I love them both so much. Um, but yeah, they're both strays, and then we took them in. Mm, that's the way to do it. Yeah, because they were both outdoor cats, so. Because what do you think of the cat overpopulation issue? It just means more cats for me. So. <laughs> well, you only have two. You're not like Taylor Swift who has like 12. I will be. <laughs> <laughs> One day when you have your One own day, house. Me and Cam did. We're going to own it. We're going to own cat, our plan. cat sanctuary. Okay. Our, yeah, this go ahead. is very serious. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Our, plan, <laughs> our plan is to own a coffee shop mm. uh, antique store together <laughs> that has cats. But like That's lots of That's a lot of, of genres you're putting together. <laughs> It's all our favorite ones. Uh huh. So yeah, that's the plan, and I plan to at least have one hair because my little sister Maria, her dream is to have a hairless cat named Jar Jar Binks, <laughs> <laughs> and I, and she wants me to get um a, a white cat and name it Parmesan. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the dream. We're going for it. That's what's gonna happen. So I at least have to get those two cats. But after that. Getting the bookstore antique coffee, coffee shop combo. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get a pet buffalo. Oh, name him Mark. Oh my gosh, somebody who lived uh, right next to my dad when he was growing up had a buffalo. Was it named Mark? No. Mark Buffalo. <laughs> I was gonna. I was thinking Mark Hamill when you said that. If you named your buffalo <laughs> you Mark, you could have a camel named named Mark. Mark Hamill. <laughs> Mark Camel. His name could be Mark Camel. Mark Camel. Yeah. That's so good. That's better than Parmesan. <laughs> you could have. You could have one camel and one buffalo, and they could both be named Mark. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's so funny. That's perfect. You need to do that. I I will. Once I when I when I have my mansion when I'm older. Is that legal? Because I know like some. 
I don't know how this. I looked it up one time. All the animals <laughs> that course, were legal uh-huh. in each state. You can't have a ferret in Georgia, under, uh, unfortunately. I think that's why I looked it up. I wanted a ferret. A ferret? Yeah. I know somebody in my neighborhood who's had a ferret. Oh, had a ferret. I was like, I mean, I think they still have it. <laughs> I I've wanted a ferret for a really long time. Probably not anymore. All mm-hmm. I got is two cats, and I'm about to get a fish because we're doing an experiment environmental. Um, where we have to keep old fish alive, kind of, <laughs> for so many days. A fish alive? Uh, like, have you, like, an eco column? Do you know those? No. You get a bunch of plastic water bottles, basically, and one side is, one top, the top is dirt, then it's decomposition layer, which is, like, mold and mm-hmm. stuff, and then the bottom is the fish. And the idea is that you're supposed to pour water in the top, and it's supposed to, like, kind of go through the cycles and feed the fish mm. through, like, because there's grass on the top all and the, the dirt, too. All the stuff. All the nutrients. Yeah, all the, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the, yeah, because it's got holes, and it's kind of hard to explain. But, yeah, it all drains through to the fish, except I don't think our fish will survive, <laughs> if I'm being honest. <laughs> Are you doing it with a group? I'm doing it with this, with this girl in my class. Mm. Um, and... I don't know. I just have a feeling we'll survive. She also named him Chestnut, which is a terrible <laughs> fish name. <laughs> like, come on. You going to call her out on the podcast? Yeah. I don't think she'll see this. If she does, it'd be really funny. I've told her before it's a terrible Put name. Put her full name. I'm not putting her full name. <laughs> I feel like she'll get doxxed or something. That, that makes sense. That makes sense. You could put her name in the title. Yeah. All, all 14 viewers that yes. I had on the last episode. Mm-hmm. She'll definitely, yes, because yeah. she gave a fish a terrible name. <laughs> Sorry, person in question. Imagine your entire life being ruined because you gave a fish <laughs> a bad name. I want to name it Bernard. but Bernard? Bernard. Like that from a- Megamind? <laughs> <laughs> that or <laughs> Bartholomew. It's a two-way tie. Oh, Tobias too. Tobias is a name I've been wanting to use on something for a long time. I like naming things if you can't tell. I can, yeah, I can tell. Did you ever name your car? I always ask everybody if they name their car because that is the most fun thing to me. My name is Sandra. <laughs> Sandra. Sandra. I think you've told me that before, but that's. Because Camden's, well, actually, I actually didn't know this one I named mine, but Camden's is named Sam. So I'm talking a lot what? about Camden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I gotta put, I gotta get Camden on here yeah, too. Yeah, you have to. That's why I said we had to do a pot, like yeah. all three of us. Well, I think it's, I, I did this so I could have a one on one conversation. Yeah. So I'll, I'll have Camden on next and then you can just be, and she be can here just and talk watch. talk about me a lot. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully we're that close. <laughs> It'd be really um, embarrassing if I just talk about her and she doesn't talk about me. I currently have a 2012 or a 2011 or a 2010. One of those. Honda Civic, red Honda mm-hmm. Civic, named Paul. Paul. That was so, I remember you telling me that. Yeah. yeah. But I was deciding on a name on this Mazda 3 that I that we were, were dealing with right now. Mm-hmm. And... um. The working name was Balthazar. <gasps> that's a good name. Yeah. I like that. Um, or there's name. another one that's too inappropriate to say on the podcast. So I'll leave it till <laughs> after we okay. do the podcast. Gotcha. Um, do you listen to any podcasts? Um, I listen to John Henry's podcast a little bit. Honest to God? Yeah. With the, the what's it? The, the fit. I don't know. Ben, I'm trying producer. to I'm trying to plug it, but I can't remember. Honest like, to God with Quest Atlanta. Yeah, with the Quest Atlanta. Yes, and Ben, the and, producer, and Benjamin Wilder Baron. Benjamin Wilder Baron. You can dox him. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I was scared there for a second. Um, yeah, I've been watching theirs. That's it. Yeah, I don't really watch that many podcasts. You watch theirs? Yeah, I like to watch the videos. That's weird, man. I know. Well, I always have it on the background. What kind of idiot <laughs> would have a podcast that they can watch the idiot instead who has a of listen very to? Short <laughs> <laughs> Somebody with a very short attention span. Mm. Mm, which that is makes me. sense. Yeah. I'm pretty convinced I have ADHD. I don't know. Maybe. Well, saying that you have ADHD is is the first step to admitting you have a problem. That's I did that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's your opinion on the education system? I know you have strong opinions on it. Very strong. I think that it sets you up for failure in like the terms like of memorize, memorize, forget, memorize, forget, memorize, mm-hmm. forget. Um, that you don't really learn anything. I would say, especially with the classes I'm taking now. Like I'm taking a healthcare class right now, and all of it is just like get as much information as your brain as possible so you can take the test and pass it doesn't mean you have to understand it all. It just means you have to know it all, which seems very scary since this is supposed to. Pre- you know get me ready for nursing school (laughs) yeah Um, so that's you know 
kind of scary mm -hmm. but um yeah i think a lot of it is just especially in america it's just about memorizing and i don't think that's how you learn necessarily no it's not at least you at least get memorized in a longer sp period of time than just one semester yeah like i feel like i'm just yeah what is your opinions my opinions are long and passionate so you will get into it all right now um no i will <laughs> not the whole thing i'll okay. just give you like a like a brief summary um i hate the education system in no america way. like like <laughs> there is a level if you say if you say okay we're going to create an institution for kids to to move through so that they can be prepared for the real world mm -hmm. The one of the worst ways you can do that is the system we have now. Like, in the real world, you're not told things. You learn things by learning them. Like, you choose to learn them. Because, mm -hmm. like, once you get out of school, for the rest of your life, you have to learn things as well. And you don't learn them by a person forcing you to sit down and, and telling it to you. You have to go and seek that information for yourself. Mm -hmm. So school should reflect that. There are things that you must know, but an unbelievable amount of the stuff we learn in school is useless in the real world. Y equals MX plus B. <laughs> exactly. I'm never going to use that. Ever. Like, algebra's fun, but, like, still. I'm if... not having fun in algebra right now. <laughs> I'm struggling. Um, so, so if I was going to re reinstitutionalize education, mm -hmm. take classrooms, throw out all the desks, oh. make it put couches and and other seats and you can have like a a big desk where people can sit down and write on mm -hmm. um but make it a much more discussion based environment rather than everyone shut up and listen to the teacher you won't you wouldn't have to raise your hand to go to the bathroom because in as an adult you go to the bathroom when you need to go to the bathroom and you come back when you're done like that's mm -hmm. just how it works and so I, I was talking to my parents at the dinner table about this like or Jude disagreed. He was like, you're not allowed to go to the bathroom. If he was going to do a class, that's how he would do it. But like... People need to go. Yeah, as an adult, like you, you go to the bathroom when you need to. You don't have to ask. Yeah. Because that's fundamentally inhumane to ask when I'm allowed to... Especially when they refuse. Yeah. I just found out a teacher at my school apparently only allows one... You only have to go to the bathroom once a class period and... Um, but you have an emergency pass but if you don't use your pass you get extra credit so you basically get extra credit for not having to for go not play. having an emergency <laughs> like yeah. what that's crazy um so so that would be abolished and then um aside from the fundamental stuff like from the early we're talking about like middle school through high school mm -hmm. middle school early that time you should have all your fundamentals down by then like yeah. all the stuff you're gonna need and then, like, in the high school level, you should have a, a mandatory class about problem solving. Oh. Like, for your whole career in high school, you should have a, prob uh, a problem solving class mm -hmm. because that'll make you excellent in the real world if you <laughs> are able to approach a problem and then think logically through it and solve it. Like, that is unbelievably, like, good um, and effective. And in school now... It, if you try and get like somebody to do that like the system now is like it it benefits you if you don't solve problems yeah it it benefits you if you just think completely inside the box that's how you get ahead yeah they have to teach critical thinking skills now yeah like i've been told that i have good critical thinking skills because i went to private school and i actually had to like <laughs> do more than just yeah. the assignment because that's like all they're taught to do today and also because kids a lot of kids don't want to learn yeah so they just end up not doing their work or cheating their way through high school exactly and getting, like crappy grades and not going to college because they just want to work and yeah. if they just want to work they can they can just work and so so like middle school through high school you should have problem solving and you should have a one mandatory class that that is about um like things you're going to need to know for the real world mm -hmm. because if you start them off if you say from sixth grade to 12th grade if you tell explain kid to kids how to do a mortgage how to do taxes how to like m mostly everything that has to do with finances <laughs> and the government and how the government works like you will and the rest of the the rest of the day mm -hmm. is about whatever the kid wants to learn 
like you will pump out kids that will be incredible thinkers and incredible functional members of society. You know, they have a school like that in, I don't know if it's exactly like that, but basically it's just like the same old school day, but they have like classes that you could just take on the day or you can just go in the library and study. Yeah. But like you have options to go, like you don't have assigned classes. It's just like, hey, today I want to learn art. Oh, I can go in the art class today. And I think it's in Finland. It's in some European country. Well, the Sudbury system is kind of like that, mm-hmm. where it's completely self-motivated, um, which I think is not the best. Like, you should have some things that are forced. Yes. Like, the fundamentals that you need to know, like basic math and that kind of thing. But when you're younger, like, kid, boys in, in lower school are treated like defective girls in, in the education system. And so... Like, Jude was going to be held back just because he couldn't read, but he was, like, excellent in math, like, really good in math, Mm -hmm. but just because he couldn't read the best at, like, seven, he wasn't allowed to to go ahead. But, like, kids will naturally want to know how to read. Like, if you leave them alone by nine or ten, they'll know how to read pretty well. Yeah. So it's it's not about, like, if you force a kid into a box, that's only going to, like, it's only going to hurt him. Yeah, because people are like, even if people are resistant to it at first, eventually you're going to want to learn. Yeah. Like in middle school, I did not want to learn at all. But like now that I'm in high school and I'm actually fi- like allowed to see see and like take classes and stuff that I'm interested in, I like learning for the most part. Yeah. <laughs> I probably, I don't know if I told you this, I probably won't be going to college because I plan on going into photography. Oh, cool. Sort of. I don't know yet. Probably that or design, which uh-huh. is, I found the interest for that because I do yearbook Wait, at my what, school. What kind of design? Uh, graphic design probably Groovy. that's my big thing i do most of the designs in my yearbook would you do like stuff for websites and that kind of thing i don't know yet because i don't like being on a computer all day that but i'm sense. not a very good artist <laughs> so <laughs> well, i don't know yet you can we'll practice see. i can't practice this is what i'm that's what i'm doing right now i'm practicing yeah whoa what do we got we got two minutes two minutes two minutes wow that went by quick the second time around uh yeah it it tends to do that it's it's surprising how quickly an hour can go by when you're talking to someone so. that's crazy is there anything <laughs> else you wanted to talk about <sighs> anything else how what did it? you expect to talk about i don't when... know i don't know actually <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like anytime I have a conversation with you, it's the most random thing yeah. or it's really, really deep conversations uh-huh, uh-huh. and there's no in between. Well, so, it's hard to have deep conversations when you're publicizing what you say. Yeah, I, it, I would kind of be weirded out if we had a really deep conversation <laughs> now and you're like, okay, let me post this to my YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, how's life? I guess that's my last question. It's going so great right now. It is? I am, I am doing so well in almost everything that's so good like i always have stuff i'm struggling with Mm -hmm. but all the things that i was struggling with i'm i'm doing good with now yeah i've seen that too and yeah i don't talk to i don't hang out with people enough and this is that's that's one of the good reasons about this i feel like i'm a lot busier than you because i'm still in school (laughs) yeah but like i have i have work and then i also i do this podcast and then i edit my parents podcast and i also have a girlfriend who takes up way too much of my time not no i i like spending time with her but still um um so i i have a busy life now and like you're like an adult i am like but i'm older than you yeah all right um Katie Glockner, it was so great having you on. It was so great being here. Um, thank you for your time on the show. We will throw up images of what our our drawings look like at the end. Um, I'll, I'll I'll put it I'll it's, put it up. It's I'll take photos of it. Up. Okay, so you can't see it. Yeah. Good luck, Charlie. Good luck.